So welcome back and uh, uh, this is the next uh, video in my series of uh, uh, for the Aerofly RC flight simulator on the Mac computer and uh, the uh, uh, we've been using the Kalamato um, airplane here to uh, demonstrate everything and uh, in this video I'm going to talk about landings. Um, but, uh, uh, one of the first things you got to remember in landings is, is that there's a priority for who has the right of way on the runway. Uh, first off any emergency aircraft or an air aircraft with a dead stick or an engine that doesn't work for example uh, always has priority over everybody else. Normal landings come next, and a pilot always needs to call their intent to land on downwind uh, to let everybody know that they're going to be the next one to land. Uh, hand launching and takeoff, hand launching takeoffs come next in priority, followed by normal takeoffs. And last but uh, not least, uh, if you need to retrieve an aircraft on the runway, you're the last priority. Uh, if your aircraft is disabled on the runway, you need to make sure other pilots know that and to uh, make sure it's clear that you walk out on the runway uh, and no one else is going to try to land. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do like we did on the uh, takeoffs. We're going to check the ailerons, elevator, rudder, and power, and taxi out. And call takeoff. We go. Now, as far as landings go, you start the landing right here on downwind. You got to make sure you're in the right position, not too close, not too tight. Uh, I'm going to move out a little bit. Wait till you get to the end of the runway and start your turn and pull the power back. Okay. And uh, then you got to get lined up on the runway before you land. So there's a lot going on right there, and I'm going to step you through that. <clears throat> one more time <clears throat> and I'll try to pause it as we go hitting the pause button while I'm flying is not the easiest thing in the world okay so I'm gonna add a bit of power here and pause okay you can see right now I'm approaching the end of the runway and I'm heading down that's not really good so as soon as I release the pause I'm gonna pull back up one of the other things that you always have to remember is to uh, abort the landing if anything is wrong. It's always better to try again. You got enough juice and power or gas or whatever you're using to go around and try again. So I can see I'm heading down. I'm a little too close to the runway. So I'll probably uh, not do this landing. Okay. Yep. I got a not in a good position. So I'm going to. Come around and try that one again. <clears throat> okay. I'll get a little higher, a little further away. Okay, so th there's the end of the runway over there in the far left corner. And you can see I'm a little higher, a little further away, and I'm better set up for this landing. <clears throat> So, um, I'm going to extend a little bit beyond the end of the runway and try to do a level turn uh, and then pull the power back after the level turn to land. Okay, and you just get lined up on the runway and down we go. Okay, you notice I landed well down the field. So in this approach to landing, <clears throat> I always try to land, um, if you're standing in the middle of the field, between halfway between both ends of the runway, then you should land before the airplane gets to you. So I'm going to extend a little bit further, start to turn, pull the power back earlier, and just glide on into the runway. And still landed a little long. Okay. So we'll try that one more time. With no winds, the airplane tends to float. 
Uh, typically, you will have a little bit of wind out there. Right now, the simulator is set up for no wind. So I'm going to get out a little bit further. And you can see I'm a little bit lower this time, too. Okay. I'm going to extend out a little bit and then pull the power back. And now this looks like a little bit better glide slope for coming into land. And landed right in front of it. Okay, so um, each um, field you fly at is going to have different clues as to where you want to be. But you get used to knowing how high above the ground you should be and how far away you should be at this point right here. Okay. Now, this is probably a good um, position to land from. You're a little lower than I was before. And uh, that just means I can probably, uh, once I get on final, pull the power back a little more, uh, a little quicker, and uh, still make it to the runway. So let's give this a try. Okay. Turn, power back. And notice I pulled the power back halfway into halfway through the turn rather than at the beginning of the turn. You see that I'm going to land a little early uh, than me, which is just fine. You don't want to drag a run a landing in. You've got plenty of runway on the other end and plenty of time to do a touch and go if you want. I'll talk about touch and goes in a, probably a later video. But uh, if you get low like this and then start your turn and then pull your power back, you're going to land well down there. Okay. You got plenty of, there's no sense landing early um, and take a chance you'd miss the runway. What do you think happens when you miss the runway? I don't know. Let's find out. I want to get low and slow here. Okay. I'm really low. I'm really slow. Will I make it to the runway? I hope so. Yes, just barely. Okay. Um, depends upon what's at the end of your runway. <clears throat> so, you can um, also get further away from the runway like this to land. And instead of doing a 180 degree turn, you can do two 90 degree turns. So I'm going to turn, roll out, and then turn final and land. Pull the power back right there. And in we come. Notice during that landing that I, uh, when I pull the nose up, I'll do that again. This time watch my stick and uh, see when I start my flare. Okay, I'm in a good position. I'm going to turn, pull power back, and line up on the runway. Let the nose come on down, and now I'm going to flare, pulling the stick all the way back. Um, you don't have to pull it all the way back, but it does bleed the air speed off. And if you don't bleed that air speed off, I'll show you what happens. Okay. I'm going to turn early and get a better setup for a landing here. So if I uh, turn here, and let's say I leave the power in a little long. Okay, and I aim at the runway. And that's a bounce. Guess what? Okay. That bounce is too hard and the airplane crashed. Okay. So, um, in, a, in a real airplane, what would happen? You'd bounce up into the air and hit hard again, probably bend the landing gear or something. So, you don't really want to do that. You want to. To prevent bouncing, this airplane doesn't bounce because it crashes. Um, you uh, you just have to bleed off your airspeed so that when you touch down, you're just out of airspeed, uh, enough airspeed to, to land with. And that begins with right here, starting your flare, leveling off. And uh, for an airplane like this with a with a nose wheel in front. You, uh, you don't let that nose wheel hit first. You always got to make sure that the main gear, uh, the two main gear hit before the nose gear. And it'll be fine after that. Okay, so uh, enough about landings. I'll cover some other landings later. Uh, 
including dead stick landings and other things like that, but this is just the first introduction to landings. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video.